out of the weather watch live look at the Dan Ryan. Nice day outside. Nice morning. Nice evening. And what is ahead? A little windy, Mary Kay? Yeah, still very windy, Brad, until sunset. Once the sun goes down, we'll see those winds start to relax. But really, we have this wind advisory in effect. Southwesterly winds, very strong, very gusty, and they could gust to 45 miles per hour here over the next couple of hours. Sun goes down at 730. So by 8 o'clock, we should see some big improvements. The reason it's so windy, that vigorous storm that brought all the snow to parts of South Dakota now into Minnesota while well, the winds are tightly wrapped around this area of low pressure and that's what's sending us those southwesterly winds but it starts to pull away but right now you can see this counterclockwise turn in the low pressure still bringing snow to the Twin Cities tonight and it will start lifting to the north and east and that's significant for us because as that storm pulls away our winds start to die down which will be pretty nice and that allows tomorrow to be a nice day because we'll have a dry air mass in place and a quieter air mass 54 degrees for a high temperature but then on Sunday we're going to track cold rain and mix it in with snow and take some big winds off the lake northeasterly winds on Sunday 20 to 30 miles per hour right now we have a gorgeous view there of the lakefront it is 51 degrees we do have some extra clouds around but those winds west southwest at 21 gusting now to 38 miles per hour at Midway Airport so temperatures are cool to the north where it's in the mid 40s in DeKalb and McHenry and Waukegan. We're in the mid 50s though in northwest Indiana and in Kankakee about 54 and downtown it is 50. So that cold air is wrapped with the core of this system here bringing the snow to Minneapolis tonight. South of that boundary though we have the mid 60s through Columbus and back into St. Louis. So future cast through the night keeps things nice and quiet. We'll be off to a nice bright start in the morning tomorrow. It looks like temperatures will be dropping into the 30s for us and then by noontime upper 40s a lot of sunshine around. Now if you're going out Saturday night till about 10 o'clock we're dry but the clouds do move in rain on the way especially after midnight look how it mixes with snow by daybreak Sunday and it sticks around and we're going to be pulling a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico so we could see some accumulation from this 34 degrees tonight mostly clear and breezy sunny tomorrow that's the easy part 54 degrees but let's track the next system so here's Saturday morning Saturday afternoon everything's fine then we watch this area of low pressure bring some severe weather maybe to parts of Louisiana on Saturday and it starts pulling that Gulf moisture into the system. I'm showing you this wider view so you can see how high pressure to the north and low pressure to the south start getting closer together. That makes those strong winds out of the south, uh, north and east right off the lake and it carries all the moisture right into our neighborhood and it lingers through dinner time on Sunday. Snow amounts. Well, one model wants to give us some grassy accumulations of up to an inch and a half in parts of O'Hare and into Aurora even. But the other model that we're looking at goes even a little bit higher, giving many areas a good two to two and a half inches of rain. So we're going to have snow. So we're going to have to watch this system for the storm track and also see if it does bring those heavy amounts of moisture. If we have the cold air in place like we think we will, I'm expecting to see some light accumulation during the day on Sunday and temperatures struggling only 39 for a high, a good 20 degrees colder than normal. It only lasts one day because then we do clear out Brad on Monday, but let's enjoy tomorrow while things are nice and calm. Exactly. <laughs> Focus on Saturday. Mary yes. Kay, thank you.